welcome back so now we will just share the map theme so first you will go at the top in here you will create a string type variable simply it's going to be the theme okay for map now we will just assign the empty string and write it and semicolon so whenever we will just run the app as a default we will just set the theme for map and we will choose that from here so what I'll do above the widget build that's a widget build above in here we will call upon the init state okay and down in here we will say default asset bundle that we go with the suggestion and then we say dot off contacts right up after that we'll say dot load string we are gonna simply just load the string which will be the path towards the specific theme so in here string and then we say it's right inside the directory i theme so in here we will just provide that or you can simply just go to where the pop spec dot yaml and from here you can simply just copy that like that okay and go back towards the Google map theme in here okay and in here just provide the path like that and you can just manually write it for example from here first write the directory name which is i underscore theme and in here you guys can see that and right after that we say slash dark underscore theme dot json and right in here as you guys can see dark underscore theme dot json so like that just provide the path and then we will just say then value in here we'll just remove that and write it and semicolon and in here curly braces and take this down from here so what I'll do I'll just provide the specific value okay in which there will be that specific theme we will just assign that to where the string type variable that we created theme for map so it's going to be added inside that specific theme now just come here and hold to load the app you guys will notice the theme it didn't show the retro theme because we created that successfully but we didn't add that right in the google map down below okay that's a google map and we just didn't add that in this so in order to get that specific dark theme as you said it right in here the path so we have to just add that right in here so in here we'll say controller okay and then we say dot set map style and in there we will provide the theme for map in which we just assign the specific value and right inside the value there is that specific dark theme okay so we provide that in here now if you guys just hold to load the app you guys will notice the dark theme it's loading just wait for a while and there we go as you guys can see the dark theme it's working totally fine okay you can just move in any direction and it's working totally fine zoom in like that it will show you the specific areas right inside the map okay so as a default we just set that dog theme now what I'll do I'll just create an app bar and in here right in the app bar above we will create a pop menu button in which we'll set that specific theme and gonna create the pop menu item so from there then the user can simply choose the specific theme according to their personal choice so what I'll do let's go ahead and start working on that right in the scaffold what I'll do I'll say a bar a bar widget in here now in here provide the title I'm gonna take the text widget 
and right inside that we will just provide the text we'll say theme style for just Google map okay keep it simple like that and right after that we're gonna simply just set this right in the center so we have to take the center title and set this to true and right after that now I'll just provide the background color the background color we will go with the colors dot cyan okay control s and you guys will notice that there we go okay theme style Google map with the cyan color and right in the center now let's go ahead so from here as you guys can see we will just take this down and we will say actions in here and take this down in here and then we say pop menu button is going to take the item builder so I'll just remove this for now he'll edit in a while and in here comma take this brush down now provide the item builder in here gonna have the contacts in here now we'll say just redirect it in here bracket and we will just take this down specific bracket now in here we'll say pop menu item we can take the child for now we will remove that and in here put comma take this brace down in here first we will just provide the on tap event okay for now on we will just leave this empty and we will just come back right to it first I'll just complete the UI design in here and I'll provide the child and gonna have in here the text widget and we'll say this is gonna be simply for the dark okay and in here in order to remove those yellow lines just add the const modifier so if you guys just press the control s or go towards the hotel or the app you guys will notice the pop menu button in here as you guys can see okay there are three dot right in the app bar top on the right side click upon that and there we go with a dark one okay for now on if you guys just click upon that it will do nothing because right in the on tap even we just didn't add anything yet and you guys can notice that dark theme right in the Google map because we just set that dark theme as a default as you guys can see in here okay we just set that as I explained this earlier in detail so now on as I tell you already I'll just complete the UI design so this one is for dark and now we'll go to the retro and silver okay so for the time saving what I'll do I'll just copy that pop menu item copy that and from here press down this is going to be simply for the retro so in here we'll say retro and right after that in here we'll paste it for the silver control s okay or just hold to load the app and now come here and click upon that pop menu button you guys will notice the retro and silver also and as I told you already if you guys just click upon that it will do nothing because as you guys know already right in the on tap even there is nothing it's totally empty for now now let's go ahead and start working on the on tap even in order to get the required work so now right in the first pop menu item we'll say the object controller okay that we created in here completer okay so it's gonna be future type so in here we'll say dot future it's gonna just complete that feature 
by the specific completer above ok whenever it's going to be called and get the required result so in here we'll say then dot done and then we're going to simply just pause that write it and semicolon first take this down now right inside that value we're going to just with the help of that set the map style now down in here add in those brushes we'll say default asset bundle as we did above so for a time saving what I'll do we'll just copy that from here to here copy it and we will do a little change in that first paste it ok and in here so now in here we will remove that value and we will say style ok in which it will be that specific dark theme style ok now let's go down again and in here we will do a little change also we will remove that and we will say value which value that specific value ok in which there is that specific object controller dot future that is going to be completed by the completer as we just get that in here now let's go down so in here we will say value and then we say dot set map style and the map style going to be the specific style which style let me just show you I will end semicolon first and that style going to be that specific style ok that one now let's move down and do it for the retro and then silver so that specific line of code from here to here ok guys copy that and go towards the retro on tap in here we'll just paste it ok and we're gonna simply just change the path so we'll just the first one that we set as you guys can see for the dark one right in the pop menu button and that's a pop menu item ok and that second one is gonna be simply for the retro and guys look out for the path name it must be similar otherwise you will not just get that so in here look out for the spelling retro it's a retro underscore theme dot json and you guys can see that and it's right inside the iTheme ok directory as you guys can see ok i underscore theme slash retro underscore theme dot json it must be like that and also we'll go for the silver one on tap in here we'll just paste the code and what I'll do now in here we'll just also change this to the silver one okay from here just look out for the name in your case check out the spelling I have already checked it and it's just done now what I'll do I'll just go and how to load the app in order to just test it okay so it's loading now as a default as you guys know already right in here in the init stat we just set this dark theme and you guys can see that okay now we will go toward the pop menu button which one right in the app bar on the right side top click upon that pop menu button as you guys can see okay there is a dark as we said in here as you guys can see that one and then retro scroll down there we go with the retro and then silver right in the silver and also we just completed all of the work for the on tap event now we just hold reload the app let's just test it now I'll go with the retro click upon that and there we go as you guys can see it's loading now you guys will notice the retro in a while there we go that's a retro map style Google map okay now you can simply just go ahead like that move okay working totally fine you can even zoom like that okay 
zoom out so it's working fine now I'll go to where is the silver click upon it wait for a while there we go with the silver one okay it's working totally fine and you guys can see that okay zoom in zoom out now lastly you will just check the dark one click upon it and there we go with the dark one so it's working totally fine and that how you guys can just set the different map style and apply it on the Google map so basically that's it for this video okay and all of the work has been completed as you guys know already and we are in the Google map theme dot dart so basically that's it for this video